What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ariel. I'm coming at you today with a quick, easy, low-carb meal prep idea. So, basically, this is just some sausages with some Brussels sprouts. And I'm going to add a little bit of spinach. Not the whole bag, just a little bit of spinach. Just to add some more veggies to it. Um, I love peppers and onions, so I got peppers and onions. Um, frozen kind. I'm doing this kind of late, so I don't really have time to be cutting up no peppers and onions tonight. So I do have some smoked sausage, um, unsalted Kerrygold, um, organic grass-fed grass butter, an onion, and some minced garlic. So let's get started. I also have these um, storage containers for my meal preps that I usually use every week to keep my food um, nicely tight, tightly sealed. And that way they, it stays fresh. Um, been using it for years, love it. Um, but yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, so I've already washed off my Brussels sprouts and I'm going to cut them up really good taking off that stem basically you just want to get it get the stems off really good basically Brussels sprouts is like little itty bitty cabbages but some people don't like it. Some people do. Um, it just depends on your taste palettes. For me, I love it. You just have to cook it right, honestly. So I'm going to cut up all of these. And then show you guys um, how I saute the Brussels sprouts. And then we're going to throw in the sausages and the peppers so I'll be right back okay so this is what my Brussels sprouts look like once they're all cut up I'm going to just throw this in the bowl it's probably not going to all fit but I gotta let this saute for a minute because I want my Brussels sprouts to have um, a little crunch to it, but I really like my stuff tender. Um, but to get it real tender, you gotta saute it for a minute with the lid on top. Um, yeah, so this is not gonna fit. Oh well, no, yes it is. Okay, so we're gonna throw this in the skillet. I'm gonna come right back. Okay, so first I'm going to take, I need a spoon. First I'm going to take some minced garlic. I have this on everything. Literally, I love garlic. Take a teaspoon of that. And I like to get some of the juice from it. And then I'm gonna take some butter, about a teaspoon. I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of the butter. Not a teaspoon, a tablespoon. <laughs> Put that in there. And let that melt up really good. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in these Brussels sprouts right in there. And 
and I'm going to add some seasonings. A little bit of water. A little bit of salt. I can't ever pronounce this, but I'll put this to everything. Tony Sirachas, however you say it. And then we're going to let this cook a little bit. Get this one across. Let this cook down some until it's like at least halfway tender. Because then we're going we're gonna to add in the boil. I'm gonna take these out and then saute my sausages and then add the sausages together with the Brussels sprouts. So we're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to take these sausages and cut these up after I rinse them off. Definitely gonna rinse these off first. Never be this particular thing. So we're going to rinse these off and then cut them up for a little bit. So hold on. right back okay so I went ahead and rinsed off my sausages and now I'm going to cut them up I like them kind of thin but not too thin I honestly really just do turkey meat but the fact that Walmart closed on me super early after the internet said 10 o'clock, I had to settle and get beef sausage. I usually get turkey and a dually sausage or turkey kielbasa. But this is going to have to do, even though I'm really upset because I really don't do beef like that anymore. But I had to settle for this. So it is what it is. It's gonna be good either way. And it's low carb. That's the plan. So long as it's low carb, that's basically all that matters right now. Eventually I do want to become vegan, but right now it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna just keep cutting these up while my cabbage is sauteing. And then I'm going to saute my sausages with the peppers and onions until they get dark. Not too dark, not like a burnt dark, but like a brown, brownish color. A little bit of crisp to it. Um, so I think this is enough for the week. I usually take about maybe this much per serving. And I'm just going to leave some aside for my son for the week. So this is about enough. For me during the week so I'll probably have this per serving 
okay so as you can see this is steaming hot so i'm going to take this out take this off not out and i'm going to just turn it just a little bit so they're not as tender as i like them to be yet but i'm still going to take these out anyway and cook these sausages I've already cut up these onions off camera. So I'm gonna add that in. Some pepper and onions. And then my sausage. That cook up. So wait a minute. Just a sprinkle of spinach. Just a little bit of spinach. Not too much. Just a tad bit of spinach. Or whatever you say this, yeah, for thousand of certain stuff is it's off. Don't judge me. We can let this start take for a minute and let this sausage just get real nice and brown and golden. And bust it back in. Okay, show in a minute. Okay. So now I'm going to add these Brussels sprouts in. And for my sausage to burn. I'm going to toss that in. And this is really good. my four days packed away although it doesn't look that appeasing but I'm telling you guys this is a really good quick low carb slash keto meal and it keeps you really full like this with some lemon water I'm out like I don't even probably need anything for the rest of the day as I said before in my previous video I'm doing OMAD one meal a day this is enough for me, but thanks you guys for watching. Click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And thumbs up this video if you liked it. Thanks.